him yet, but I'm sure he'll be on the line. I'd like to go ahead and get us started saying uh, morning glory to everybody. And as Bill Eady would say, afternoon to others. Uh, hello, Cynthia. I see Cynthia and um, Michael on there together. I just get excited when I see couples. <laughs> Because one can hold a thousand, two can hold ten thousand. So we yes, doubling ma'am. up on it. So that's the praise the Lord praise. Do we have we want to go ahead and start? We're region eight and we're hosting today. I'll be your facilitator, moderator, chaplain, brother and sister. And uh, we're gonna start with region eight. We have a really great program for you today. Out of region eight, we have Gary Craven if he's on the line. I know a lot of people get tied up. Brother Gary Craven, are you on the line? Okay, if Brother Gary's not on the line, starting from Region 8 today, uh, who do we have from Region 8 that's on the line that would lead us in prayer? All right, Mr. Paul Nichols, would you lead us in prayer, please? Our Heavenly Father, we come before you. You're the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Man, how grateful and how we love you, Lord, and how you have, as Sister Sarah is moderating, <laughs> Lord, you've moderated our whole lives. You knew before <laughs> our books were written. And Lord, you, you've got all our tears in a bottle. Lord, you love us and we thank you. We ask you bless this call. Bless Make our brother, Herb, Lord. Let him recover completely. And Lord, anyone else, Lord, especially our chaplains, Lord, reach out to them, love them. We know sometimes they go through hardships at their plant and different, different ones that are in charge or whatever else. We ask your blessings on them. Bless our brother Jerry and brother Bill Eady and the whole executive staff. Lord, bless them. Let us, Lord, we're, we're so thankful how you place people in place. My, my, we thank you. We thank you. We place this call in your hands in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Brother Amen. Amen. All right. God bless everyone. Article 41, section 2 said that it should be our duty to render aid and assistance to our brothers and sisters in case of illness, death, distress, and equip ourselves in every way, him or herself, as a loyal and devoted member of our international union. God Amen. bless. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our brother Bill Eady, are you on the line? I'd like to turn the meeting over to Brother Carson. Gary Carson. Thank, thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. I want to bring, I want to bring <laughs> greetings from President Ray Curry and Vice President Director Chuck Browning and the entire International Executive Board. We want to thank you, chaplains, for all you do in your place of work, in our union, in the community, and with and for your families. <laughs> the on the light, meeting the light. people where they are, sharing the good news and loving on them, giving them hope. I'm, I'm going to turn this back over to to Sarah, but just so everyone knows, keep the prayers coming for 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 all those that, that are been afflicted with different ailments and injuries and such. But Elder is well mending. He's well on his way. Spoke with him yesterday. He had a good, strong voice, prayed with him and his pastor. Uh, it was a nice time that I was I, but I it, it was very brief, but he was good. And I'm excited about Region 8 uh, and, and Sarah's facilitating today. I know they're going to fill us up. I know that we're going to we're going to leave this overflowing. I, I and we're getting so close to the conference. We're going to end early and I'll answer any and all questions coming up about our upcoming Chapsy conference. Uh, 11 days we're going to be together at Black Lake. Hallelujah. And if you're not speaking, I'm asking you. <coughs> Please mute your mic so we have the best quality recording that we're doing because then we're going to post this on YouTube and it'll be on UAW.org. I'm turning it back over to you, Sarah. Thank you, chaplains. Love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am so honored today that we have three lovely speakers today that are going to be giving us a message. Uh, Cynthia Harris, Cynthia Walker, and Lewis Holmes. I am so excited about our keynote speaker, Miss uh, Cynthia Harris, as well as the others. But I remember Elder saying on the last call, he said, you know, Cynthia, I love that poetry. But he says, you know, God then told me the Holy Spirit been talking to me and uh, he's got a word for you. He said, now we like that poetry. Bring it with it. He says, but we want to bring a word. So this is to Elder and honoring Elder uh, Cynthia Harris. Uh, 
could you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do and the word that you're going to bring to us today? Thank you, Sister Sarah, to uh, Brother Carson and to each and everyone that's on today. Uh, my name is Cynthia Harris. I'm an international rep in the UAW Civil and Human Rights Department here in Michigan. So what our department does is we investigate and respond to all complaints that's filed against the local, the region, or the international, uh, any complaints that's filed with the EEOC or your Fair Employment Practice Agency. And we also provide assistance at the local level to help our locals to set up their civil and human rights committee, because according to Article 44, there's 10 standing committees, and we concentrate on the one civil and human rights committee. And then we also provide education. I go out and do training to any of the locals or in the region that feel that they need any training when it comes to the Civil Rights Act of 1964 as amended, specifically Title VII which deals with discrimination in employment. And uh, Sister uh, Sarah, I have the awesome opportunity to go to all regions. So because I'm in Detroit, the national program, I get to go to any region if they just go through the proper protocol and request assistance. So that is what I do. Uh, would you like me to go on into what I'm going to speak on today? Oh yes, the floor is yours, please do. Okay, thank you so much. So today, like Sister Sarah said, today's theme is new beginning. So we are region eight. Eight spiritually is new beginning. So we look at the New Testament, new beginning. We see that there are eight men that have been credited for writing all of the books of the New Testament. And those include, of course, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, James, Peter, Jude, and Paul. New beginning. So I like to just start off with 1 Corinthians 5 and 17, and I'll be reading out of the Life Application Study Bible because it just brings things home to me. And it says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. And I just like the way that sounds, the new is here. Not only does it feel good, Sister Sarah and the rest of the chaplains, but it just sounds good and it feels good. The new is here. Now, if we were to look at Ephesians 2 and 13 through 18, we won't go there and I won't read all of it, but what those scriptures are speaking of is the Jew and the Gentile being reconciled through Christ by his blood. Now we know that the new is here, but we must not become like the Jew because the Jews thought that because of their faith and the traditions, that they are better than anyone that's still wrestling with that old. And then the Gentiles thought that uh, for trusting and believing that the things that they had accomplished were simply because of their power and their faith. The new is here, new beginning. We must not allow our spiritual pride to get in the way so that we're not able to see our own faults but the faults of others seems to be maximized. The new is here. And Jesus said in Matthew 7 and 3, he warns us about judging others, even if we are the new. He said, be careful of seeing that speck of sawdust in your brother and or sister's eyes when you have a plank in your own eyes. The new is here. So now that the new is here, we must keep going forward in solidarity. We cannot move forward and look back at the same time, but what we can do is look up and move forward. And so I'm going to close it up here in a little bit. And so I would just like to say in closing, on Friday, Elder Jackson spoke about the father on Good Friday. He spoke that the father turned away from his son because we know that he has risen. And so I just like to say that even when we are rejected, we win. God the Father turned away from his son because he didn't want to see the sin. But because Jesus gave his life for us, we win, even in rejection. He died so that we can live. And so I'm going to close by saying this one little thing on a historical note. I wrote this brief poem, and when I say it's brief, it's only six lines. And uh, on April the 7th, 
2022. And this is a small poem and it's entitled 5347. 53 said A, 47 said nay. On April the 7th, 2022, Ketanji Brown Jackson made history on that day. She endured 19 hours of putting up with some of this. Now here's the humor. Some of them thought that they were real, but she definitely ain't Chris. She persevered while many of them played their games but now that she's confirmed, they got to put some respect on her name. God bless you and thank you for this time. Hello, Amen. I told you it was revival Amen. time. Amen. And as Amen. we have said on Praise Good Friday, Amen. I'm going to say to everyone Amen. that's on the call that Jesus has risen. And I want you to say he has risen indeed. Jesus has risen. He has, he has risen in the day. Hallelujah. Indeed. At this time, I want to give the floor Jesus to Bill E. Indeed. Don't look like Bill's with us right now. Oh, I saw him come up on my feed. So, okay. Well, when he comes back, let me know. At this time, I would like for Gary uh, Craven from Local 276. He's going to lift us up in prayer. And uh, he has a prayer for all the chaplains, as well as to continue praying for Elder. We're ready for our prayer. Brother Gary. He was there and then he was gone. I don't know. I think we got some people getting mic shy or the Holy Spirit is really working. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, we'll allow Gary to come back at a different time. At this time. It's, uh, it's, uh, Mike. it's Mike's muted. Hello? Hello? Hello, we can hear you. Okay. All right. So yesterday as I was working in my uh, yard, uh, the Lord put... Uh, Hebrews 11 and 1, now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. But really what, it, what the Lord really, what I was really focused on is that word hope for. Because we are hoping for a lot of things and a lot of us are hoping for different things. And so whatever you hoping for, faith is the tool. Faith is the avenue to get you there. And also the Lord put in my, in my spirit, does be available. See, because when you're when we're available, God will open doors for us. So chaplains, we have to be available, not not griping and not saying, well, I need to be in that position or whatever. Just be faithful and be available and your room, uh, your gift will make room for you. Father, in the Amen. name of Jesus, I just come to you right now, lifting up the I chaplain. See, Father God, Father God, asking that you just continue to be with us. We thank you for how far you have brought us, Father God. And we thank you for where you've taken us, Father God. Thank you for the leaders that have made great sacrifices and strive for the chaplaincy and also have been a great example for the chaplaincy. Let us not, and let us uh, be mindful of the things that they are doing, Father God, and let us learn from our leadership so we can take it back in our workplaces. We, we can uh, be honorable chaplains. Lord, we just thank you for... Herb Taylor, Lord, we thank you for your healing process. We know that you are a restorer, Father God. So we thank you, Lord. And we thank you for the things that, that you are going to do in this life. Hallelujah. And we praise you in advance, Father God, for your grace and your mercy. So continue to be with our chaplains, Lord, for every chaplain is a leader. And so just continue to bless the chaplaincy. Continue to watch over us and keep us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Y'all know that this is a test. And you know what? We're going to pass the test because you know what elders say? This is a teaching moment. When we learn how to be obedient and come on the calls and, and do that, what we're supposed to do to be responsible. And I like what Gary said about having faith. And what's so great about having faith is you can't see it. It's the substance of things that are hoped for. And hallelujah. And just to know that Jesus has, Jesus has risen. Okay, what has he done? What do you say? He has risen indeed. Jesus has risen. 
He has risen, risen indeed. indeed. And I am so excited risen that we indeed. know this. Gary, I want to thank you for that word available. And for those that don't know what available mean, you know, it's not funny because some of us don't have that understanding yet. Available meaning be ready right now it's your turn somebody call you god says be ready in and out of season somebody said i need you to speak speak when there's a space there and we're on the line and it's time for a prayer or a scripture shower step forward god is no respecter of man we're here on roll call because we accepted the service we accepted the call all are called but few are chosen so i am so happy and honored to be speaking to the chosen one that's going to go out there and seek others to have that hearing and that listening and that hopefulness in their heart that they are called as well thank you for an awesome word cynthia as you always do at this time i'd like to bring to you brother lewis holmes this young man is a young joshua's too Brother Lewis Holmes, are you on the phone? Bill Edie is here. Okay, I'm going to make a slight a divine interruption and we're going to switch over to Mr. <laughs> Bill Edie. <laughs> divine interruption. Good afternoon, chaplains. He has How risen indeed. What a blessing it is to be on the, the chaplaincy conference call. I, I, I first would like to bring you greeting from President Ray Curry, Vice President Chuck Browning, and the entire International Executive Board. I want to say that today is a beautiful day that the Lord has made. Yes, sir. Joyce and Black. Chaplains, uh, I just want to say I, I, I'm just so so thankful and excited for the opportunity to one be on this call but also for that opportunity to know as brother carson stated earlier 11 days what what a glorious time we are going to start to begin to have in 11 days you know that that's a blink of the eye that's really what it is so uh, with that being said I just want all of you to start uh, preparing, you know, to go to Black Lake and, and be prepared to have a glorious time together in, in fellowship and, and, and just in learning. And, and, and uh, at our chapter conference. Also, just thank you for everything that you do on a day. I can't say it for doing your community, your places of work with you families to god be the glory for everything that you do it's being the, the shining light for all of us and 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 last but not least chaplains um i look forward to the last word we're gonna get uh sister cynthia thank you uh brother gary thank you for the words that you gave us today it was beautiful uh, well thought out and well planned I'm just excited for this last word. I hope that he can get on the call and, and bring it to us. But God bless everybody, and I look forward to the rest of the program. Thank you, Sister Sarah, for, for interrupting the program and allowing me to, <laughs> the, the opportunity to speak to these wonderful chaplains. God bless Hallelujah. everybody. Hallelujah. We're going to be ready 11 days, y'all. And you know when uh, <coughs> you said 11 days, you know what I thought about? You know that good old gospel song. I don't know if y'all remember it. Y'all probably do young. But it go a little something like this. We are soldiers in the army. We gotta fight. We gotta fight. We got to hold up and stand back. Oh, that's my grandmama. Boy, she would get in there and she would get the movement. That's what I see you chopping. Uh-huh. I know that uh Sandra Rockins gonna have us singing in that choir. So y'all better bring y'all black and white outfits. Sister uh, Helena Walker going to bring us out in prayer. Oh, it's going to be uh, revival time. It's going to be learning time. It's going to be listening time. And I'm so ready for <laughs> Cynthia Harris and Michael Harris. This is a power couple we got coming right here, coming to Black Lake. And um, I am so happy. Cynthia Walker, can you give us that word that you have for us today? <laughs> yes. Good afternoon to everyone. I would like to thank God for this opportunity 
I thank my chaplain brothers and sisters for this opportunity and the local 862. I have about a three to four minute word coming out of Colossians 1, 19 and 20, the New Living Translation. This is coming from, from a series I'm working on called Don't Forget What Christ Has Done. Colossians 1, 19 and 20, the New Living Translation. For God in all his fullness was pleased to live in Christ and through him God reconciled everything to himself. He made peace with everything in heaven and on earth by means of Christ's blood on the cross. The book of Colossians was written by Paul for the purpose of showing that Christ was preeminent in everything. Christ is the image of the invisible God, firstborn of every creature. All things were created by him and for him. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning of all things. He is before all things. John says it like this. All things were made by him and without him was nothing made. Amen. There was a lot of false teachers going on when Paul wrote Colossians. That there were many mediators. They were worshiping angels, dietary regulations, and teaching of circumcision. But Paul refuted these false teachings by telling the Colossians that only Jesus, only Jesus is our true mediator. Christ is the foundation for our reconciliation. Amen. It is through his intervention for our, that we have our intervention, our peace and pardon has been made acceptable with God. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No yes, man sir. can come to the Father but by me. But by me. The on. blood of Jesus is the groundwork for our redemption. First Peter tells us we are not redeemed with corruptible things on, girl. like silver and gold, but with the precious blood of Christ as a lamb come without on. a blemish. The blood of Jesus Christ is the most precious thing God has offered us. Amen. It was the blood that has made atonement. But yes, the blood is the life. And yes, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. Amen. Shabbos, you be encouraged today. Because each and every one of us has been a case study of what Christ has done. At one time, we all had our backs turned against God. Thinking rebellious thoughts against him. Giving him trouble on every hand. But now, glory be to God, by Christ giving himself completely on the cross, actually dying for us, Christ brought us over to God's side. Christ put our lives together, whole and holy in his presence. Of all men and women. This is a gift. Chaplains, you don't walk away from a gift like this. You be encouraged today, chaplains. You stay grounded and steady in that bond of trust. Constantly tuned into the message. Careful not to be distracted or diverted. Careful to hold fast to what you've been taught in the word. Paul is tr simply trying to tell some and remind oh, others. Don't forget oh, what Christ has done. He loved mankind yeah, enough that he came down through 40 and two generations and laid down his life. Don't forget what Christ has done. Crucified on the cross and buried in a grave. And on the third day, God resurrected Christ from the dead. Don't forget what Christ has done. I know Easter was last Sunday and you hung up your Easter suit. But don't forget what Christ has done. Thank you. To be encouraged today. Don't forget what yes. Christ has done. Okay. Hallelujah. The yes. word of God for the people of God. As you go to Black Lake next month, and you lift up the name of Jesus. Lift him up. Lift him up. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lift him up. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. All right, Thank you. hallelujah. And she said Thank that you. this Thank was you. this was one of the first. Okay, so we already know that there's more to come. And she already said that in Black Lake. So that sounds like a stay tuned because Jesus is 24-7. <laughs> uh, he has risen. And what's your line, chaplain? 
He has risen. He has risen indeed. He has risen indeed. He has risen indeed. Has risen indeed. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. Glory yes. to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. When I think about the goodness of the Lord, yes. I say hallelujah. Come on, come Morning on. glory yes. is every day. I just give gratitude to the Lord today. I just get Thank so excited. You, my voice gets Thank loud. You. you know, people can tell by all this hyperness. Mm. I ain't angry. I'm yes, excited. Mm. Because my Romans 8, 28 says, mm. oh, he didn't say yes. no. Yes, Thank you. Oh. What did the Lord say? He said, whatever you do, get an oh, understanding. God. You know what? This calls for This calls for an interview section. And I just, on this interview, I'm going to do a little improv. Now, these people have been full aware that I was going to come at them with, for some questions because we got some new people on the line, some new young Joshuas, and I want to do a dare. I want to double dare them in the name of Jesus for the new young Joshuas that's from Region 8 to introduce yourself right now. Just say your name. I dare you in the name of Jesus to say your name or give me a scripture. This is a roll call for you. If you are a new young Joshua. Michael Walker. I'm Michael Walker from Local 862 in Louisville, Kentucky. And I'm a new Joshua. Grateful to be here and looking forward to being at Black Lake. Hallelujah. Thank Amen. you for that, brother. Amen. Brother, Amen. would you give us a word of prayer? Can we have a word of prayer from you, brother? Yes, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you right now for this platform. Lord God, that we allowed, you have allowed us to come together on this platform today as you do every Wednesday. Lord God, we just thank you for all the chaplains that are in the house. Lord God, we thank you for those chaplains who are on the front line right now in that plant. Lord God, we just ask you to continue to bless us, continue to keep us, and continue to move us forward. Lord, don't let us forget what Christ has done, as my wife has stated. Lord God, continue to be with us. Strengthen us in every avenue that we need. Lord God, bring us to where we need to be, that we may work for your goodness and for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 What did Elder Amen. say? Everything Amen. we have is in our hands, so it's in the house. I, right now, I want to do a roll call oh, yeah. from Region 8. So if you are from Region 8, I would like for you to introduce yourself. Just go ahead and introduce yourself. It's okay if you overlap because Jesus got a lot of room. If you're from Region Teacher 8, Harris, I'm Sarah Harris. the brother. <laughs> Kimberly Ashby, local 862. Kimberly Ashby, local 862. All right, that's just the girl who I was looking for. Kimberly Ashby, I have you on program, and you are on right now. Talk to us, Miss Kimberly. What has best said the Lord for you to say to the region today, the regions? I think that um, I just want to give a, a brief testimony that God is good to us, even when we don't even realize he's good to us. When we were lost in our sins, he was still watching out for us. He was drawing us to him. So um, let me give you three words. When I was lost in my sin, I was believing the real lies of the world. That's real lies, R-E-A-L-L-I-E-S. I just thought that I was all that and more and that I had to be on the throne because if anything had to get done, I had to do it. <laughs> then God opened up, then God made me realize, Jesus made me realize that I was a sinner saved by grace and I could not do it on my own. So that's, he made me realize, R-E-A-L-I-Z-E-D. -E and now that I have been serving him for the past 30 plus years, I have realized to see reality and that I cannot do anything without him. So chaplains, we have to remember where we came from and Whenever we talk to anybody, they may not be as far along spiritually as you are. Therefore, treat them with kindness and love and help them along their pathway. So God puts you in their life for a reason. So be there for them, love them, right where they are. And that's all I have to say. <laughs> The Amen, joy sister. of the Lord Peter. is here. I can feel it in the atmosphere. Hallelujah. I like that number three, Miss <laughs> Kim Ashby. You know, three, I'm singing like a father, the son, and the Holy Ghost. 
Oh, that's a Trinity number right there. Oh, we getting ready for Black Lake, the 30, 35th chaplaincy conference. So we not new at this. This is not something we started yesterday. This has some history. And I'm just excited to see what God's going to do. I want to know, are there any more young Joshua's on this line? I'd really like to hear from you. And Mr. Lewis Holmes, if you're here, I'd like for you to come to the platform right now. Are you here yet, Mr. Lewis Holmes? No, but Keisha Harris is. All right then, Keisha Harris. Go ahead. Did you say Keisha? Yes, ma'am. Local 862. I've been waiting on you. We've been waiting on it. Keisha, the floor is yours. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> um, greetings to all the chaplains across the world and uh, just grateful to wake up this day. Grateful for another day that God has put before me without fear, without anxiety, without any. I can stand on his promises every day and uh, constantly giving him all the glory because just a week ago, I was, you know, in my funk and trying to feel sorry for myself. And God seemed to it that I, he had some other plans for my weekend. And I was so grateful for that because he was glorified and praised all weekend, as he is every day in my life. But uh, we have to go through those storms sometimes, you know, going back through those valleys just to get back on top of that mountain and go back down in the valley again and learn some more, you know, so just be encouraged to be encouraged while you're in the valley, because that's where we grow the most. And that's where we, um, we, uh, the heat comes and refines us. It cleans us up and makes us presentable, uh, ambassadors for Christ. So I just want to represent him. In my daily life. So, um, Pray for me as I go along my way, as I will for each one of you. Thank you for uh, your continued love and prayers, chaplains, and all your support. Um, I'm a, a babe in Christ, too, so um, I'm just grateful to be here with you guys. Love y'all. Just remember, blessings run downhill. Hallelujah. Region 8, we still doing a roll call. Perhaps there's somebody out there in Region 8 that would just like to say a scripture or just introduce themselves to let them know that we're representing on the call because you're always on the program, you know. So if you're in yeah. Region 8, we'd love to hear from you. You're on the um, program. We... Your name is written in the Book of Lambs. <laughs> uh -huh. Come Amen. On I hear the joy of the Lord on the line. God Amen. bless everybody, Chaplain. James C, local 862, uh, Louisville, Kentucky. I just want to say to the chaplain, I'm sorry, hey, I didn't hear you. being down to nothing, God is up to Thank something. Thank you. He's doing something in your life. You don't see what he's doing. But God is faithful, and those that are going through in your life, hold on to him. Trust him. God is able to bring you out. Faith is an action word, so we have to put feet and hands to our prayer. It requires movement. So we praise God and we thank him for Region 8. Everybody that spoke today, uh, the word was great. And we are so excited about seeing you guys at Black Lake uh, in a few weeks. Actually, and uh, just blessed. Just blessed to be here to see everybody. God bless everybody. We love you. 11 days. 11 days is what we have. And at this time, if there's nobody else, did I hear a voice? Okay, at this time, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to have our closing prayer by Joe Tate, and then we're going to have Amazing Grace by Edward Jenkins. Are you here, Edward Jenkins? We're now joining me. Edward Jenkins, are you here? <laughs> Okay, Edward Jenkins is not here, so uh, uh, Joe Tate, if you're not speaking, you're getting in your car. We hear your mic. Could you please mute your mic? Thank can you, you hear so me? Yes, we can hear you. Who is that okay. right there? Huh? Who is that to say, can you hear me? It's Brother Joe Tate. Hey, Brother Joe Tate. 
would you lead us in closing prayer so we could get on to the last part of questions for those that have more questions? Um, yes, I can. And Joe, is Valerie there with you? Uh, yes, but she, uh, she busy. Oh, okay. I was going to ask her to sing Amazing Grace, but we've got it covered. Thank you. Go ahead okay. and pray. give us our closing okay. prayer, Joe Tate. Okay, then. Let us pray. Our Father of all men and women, give us the wisdom to know what is right and the strength to do what is right. We give thanks that you have allowed us to work together and serve you during this meeting. We thank you for your guidance to fulfill the agenda in this meeting. We ask your blessings upon our endeavors and upon all present today. May your love and grace continue to guide us in everything that we do today and in the future. All these we pray in the precious name of our Lord and precious Savior, Jesus. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I'm found, was blind, but now I see, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, hallelujah, praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Praise God. God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Hallel